education long term yeah and not this short term hype and blah 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 we saw this so many times yeah so that's important to understand the next way the next wave yeah the disrupting of the cargo and trans transportation industry that's uh what we will discuss so if it comes to technology we know a lot of big brands yeah some of them are over 100 years old in the car industry uh, daimler benz ford as an example yeah but there are companies coming 100 years later yeah like tesla and disrupting this industry yeah, and disrupting yeah biggest car producer today is tesla yeah so the secret in business is to see where the world is going and to be there first yeah and let's see if we understand why we can potentially be first in a different industry tesla is too late yeah the mobile phone industry is also too late yeah this was disrupted in 2008 yeah apple came with the iphone was connecting the old mobile phone technology yeah called sms yeah with the internet yeah disruption yeah before nokia number one ericsson others yeah so within one year yeah, the whole industry was disrupted and Apple, yeah, and later Samsung came also uh, to the top. Yeah, so these two big leaders in the mobile phone category. Yeah, so you can see also established industries with big brands can be disrupted yeah, within a short period of time. Yeah, and we're talking about an industry today which is very young, yeah, which is going big in the future, in the next five, ten years. So a lot will change. Yeah? And think of this sentence from Bill Gates, the secret in business is to see where the world is heading to. Uh, and I can see one thing. Yeah? I see the trucks anywhere in the big cities, in Manila, in Bangkok, in Jakarta, in Berlin, in Paris, in New York, yeah? standing in traffic. Yeah? Different times where they cannot go on the street, cannot drive on the street. Yeah? So the trains are limited. The airplanes are limited. Yeah? So there are a lot of transportation vehicles on the air or on the ground yeah which are limited and we will talk about this revolution so you can see these uh, letters hsv yeah s t o l what means that high speed short takeoff and landing so that means these drones yeah with their technology are able to land and take off yeah vertical anywhere on the mountains on your house in your village in your town in your city on your hospital wherever yeah so and yeah other factors other one of its kind features we will discuss to understand the potential of these technologies okay so i said drone not flying here okay i must always uh, open the door here for people guys of course let the guests in more and more coming so welcome everybody welcome everybody we are started and all details about our disruptive technology project today so following limitations so if there are limitations in the industry yeah and you come up with technology to solve these problems yeah to solve these limitations then you have a big potential to be a big brand yeah and to make a lot of money so airplanes high autonomy long range and fast in speed no question about this but however requires runways yeah so you can't do that anywhere you can't use and transport goods anywhere yeah so you need big cities you need airports yeah to deliver then the helicopter yeah yeah short term um, or short ways are more flexible yeah however low speed and higher full consumption so you cannot use it on a daily basis to be a courier or to deliver goods or medicals or whatever yeah so it's, it's too expensive yeah even the price of an helicopter is in millions yeah and uh, the consumption of fuel is massive yeah so it's also not that what we are looking for then conventional drones yeah they are too slow yeah low speed and short range yeah and also not that load capacity in the market what we are looking for so what can be better yeah the tupan aircraft company is since years 
in the development of drone technologies with a special turbine technology, also with the electro motor, yeah, like Tesla was revolutionizing the car industry with the electro mobile, yeah. Also here, electro is one option and this disrupting turbine technology, yeah. So long range with high uh, load capacity, very important, high load capacity, depending on the model, depending on the wingspan, on the size, of the drone, then the range, imagine up to 1,200 kilometer range. Yeah, that's enough, that's great. Yeah, so you can do a lot, you can transfer a lot. Yeah, up to 400 plus kilogram, yeah, depending on the wingspan. Uh, we have drones here uh, with two meter 20 wingspan, that's the smallest, starting by $250,000. So imagine we are uh, thinking in categories, $250,000 up to millions for a single product. So imagine other companies are happy if they have a yearly, uh, let's say sales uh, or, or revenue of a few million or something like that. Yeah. So imagine you're, you're selling one Boeing airplane. Yeah. So multi-millions for a single product. Yeah. Who's buying the airlines all around the world. Yeah. So with companies, and we will talk about today about products, um, potential customer on a basis of, yeah, governments, any kind of institution, big companies, small companies, medium companies. Yeah. So on a level where the money is, guys. Yeah. This is important to understand. Yeah. So big sales possible. Yeah. If you have the right technology. Yeah. Uh, two meter 20 wingspan, uh, six meter 40, eight meter 60 and over 10 meter, the biggest category. So three meter more than a big soccer goal, guys. This is huge. Yeah, this is like a jet, a, a, a fighter jet size. Yeah, so this is eight to thirteen meter. So that's amazing. That's huge, and uh, big capacity, up to eight hundred fifty kilometer per hour. Yeah, so depending on the model, on the size, yeah, up to eight hundred fifty kilometer per hour, and the bigger ones can fly up to thirty thousand feet high. Yeah, so that's huge. That's one of its kind. And if it comes to the important question if it comes to the yeah uh, challenger in these categories yeah so the the competition yeah the speed yeah fastest by around 200 kilometer per hour yeah 100 150 200 kilometer per hour yeah our category is up to 850 the range yeah 100 150 220 yeah range competition yeah 1200 yeah, so massive difference. The, the loading capacity, yeah, by the by the uh, competition, yeah, between 10 kilogram, 50, 80, 100, 120, something like that. Yeah, so 400 kilo. Yeah, this is if I count this in in travel bags. Yeah, and I'm not talking about the hand package. I'm talking about hand package is seven kilo, and the bigger ones are 23 kilo. Yeah, imagine round about 18 big heavy travel bags. Yeah, from the weight. Yeah, that can uh, the big drone uh, carry, yeah. So this is what the world needs, yeah. This is what institution needs. This is what governments needs, yeah. For different uh, possibilities, and we will have a look at these possibilities here in a minute, guys. So yeah, welcome everybody who is coming later. We are in the middle of this presentation. Amazing drone technology, disrupting drone technology, and uh, own in-house software, in-house navigation system. Yeah, you can pilot these kind of drones autonomously and even with the remote control. Yeah, and exactly on the point, you can also change the route from the ground station while they are flying. Yeah, so you can deliver goods and, and cargo uh, by landing and also from the air. Yeah, so if you are uh, on, a, on a rescue mission yeah, on the ocean, you cannot land on the ocean, but you can deliver goods yeah, or a boat or whatever is needed. Yeah, or in the mountains, uh, you know, um, uh, snow or a lot of mountain regions, there's a storm, there's an accident, somebody's missed, you can search. You can detect, you can rescue, whatever. Yeah, so a lot of possibilities. And here is the special turbine technology. Yeah, and the uh, possibility to move them. Yeah, for this vertical landing. And this is also an important um, comparison to the competition in those bigger drones categories. Yeah, they need a runaway. Yeah, they need a runaway. Yeah, so they can't 
go up. They can't take off uh, vertical anywhere on the mountain, on the hospital, yeah, in the village, in the town, in the city, wherever, yeah, on the soccer field, whatever. So, yeah, this is this is amazing. Yeah, this flexibility and even alternative, the electromotor solution. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, electromotor, like I said, Tesla, big story in the car industry is the other possibility. So, yeah, what we have so far, a new aircraft company. Yeah, over the last five, six years, developed a lot of uh, yeah devices, a lot of categories and uh, working on innovative solutions for the future. Yeah, so it's a nonstop process, a nonstop science, a nonstop development. They have a fantastic team of engineers, science uh, uh, and, and tech guys from uh, Brazil and um, our Aeronautic Institute, Technology Institute, Department of Airspace. Yeah, and they are based with their, with their center in a, in a highly secured uh, area with different companies, airlines, not airlines, but everything what has to do with, with aviation yeah, in any form. Um, scientific center, whatever, yeah, and they recruited over the years massive, massive experience people with decades of experience on the highest level in any part of engineering, of developing, um, um, yeah, devices and and uh, um, air, airplanes, whatever, in these categories, yeah. So the first cargo delivery service in the world with low cost, with high speed. And with long range up to 1,200 kilometers, that's huge. Okay, so that's only possible through the exclusive turbo machine propulsion system. Yeah, this vertical takeoff and landing and disruptive solution to change the tradition of transport. Yeah, we have trucks all around the world stocking in the traffic. We have trains, we have airplanes, they need runaways, helicopters are too expensive and uh, consumption, yeah, the, the drones, the typical drones, come, uh, yeah, short range, too slow, less capacity to uh, transport goods. So that's one of its kind. So look at these pictures, mountain regions worldwide, yeah, snowstorm, um, rescue, search along that on the ocean, in the mountains, anywhere. Yeah, then um, fire detection and firefighting, guys. There are national parks around the world. There are forests burning in California. You saw the pictures, I think one, two years ago, massive fire, forest fire in Europe every summer, in Greece, in Germany, in Portugal, wherever, big problem. So imagine every government, every, every city, yeah, every Every company, yeah, every institution needs this kind of drones to support, to search, to detect, yeah, to transport, organ, transportation, yeah, emergency medical stuff from hospital to hospital, whatever. Yeah. So agriculture, yeah. Alone in the USA, I saw the number uh, yesterday. Bill Gates was buying, I don't know, 200,000 hectare yeah farmland in the last years yeah so and i saw the comparison this is 0.03 percent of the u.s farmland alone yeah this this is over 200,000 hectare and this is only 0.03 percent so this is huge there alone you can sell a hundreds of drones but a hundred drones yeah in the price category of millions, a hundred of millions in sales, guys. Yeah, this is not a, not a, not a whatever supplement for thirty, fifty dollar or something like that. This is Champions League category. It's like you're selling helicopters. It's like you're selling planes. It's like you're selling expensive cars. Yeah, a single car even can cost a hundred thousand, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollar. You know, you don't need so much to sell. Yeah, so that's a specific category, but. Yeah, you can see all these use cases, and that's only, uh, yeah, the, the head of the iceberg. Yeah, what you can do, what you can transport, yeah, um, the oil platforms in the ocean, yeah, you can transport goods, you can make courier service, whatever. Yeah, so, so many use cases, but remember again, yeah, high speed, yeah, carry up to 400 kilo and more, yeah, short takeoff and landing, up to 850 kilometer per hour, 33,000 feet high. Yeah, that's huge. That's not to compare with any competition. And if you have no competition, guys, then you are alone. Then you create a new category. Yeah, you are a category creator. And that's what you need to understand. If you are in the early stage 
yeah, um, into Tesla, into Microsoft, into Apple, as they disrupted 2008, the, 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 mo the, the, the mobile phone market, yeah, then you have a big chance yeah, to participate massive, yeah, not at the stage where they are already multi-billion dollar companies. And this is what you need to understand. That's the opportunity yeah, to get your share in this, in this tokenized part of the company. And if it comes to the potential of this industry, um, this drone technology market is not so matured like the, the, the mobile phone market or the car producer market. Yeah, so there are hundreds of years uh, since uh, since 1800 uh, something, there are cars on this planet. Yeah, but drones is a young market. It's, it's a big demand. Yeah, a lot of uh, interest from from yeah, from countries, from institutions, from governments. Yeah, so it's future. In the future, we will be in the air. Yeah, we will flying with a taxi. The policeman will come with a ride on a motorcycle. But flying. Yeah, so and we need to be first in the future by making decisions by joining this opportunity and the drone market is expected to grow to yeah, around about 45 50 billion yeah in the next two three years but uh it can be much faster the demand is crazy and for sure yeah the next five years ten years uh, this will go to 100 billion 200 billion and more and in 10 20 years it is yeah, possible, normal to fly to the supermarket, yeah, to get picked up in the cinema with the with the drone taxi and all the things. And they will be into this. They will into this. They have the scientists, they have the developers, and they will go yeah in this evolution of the drone technology market with patents they have, yeah, with a lot of one of its kind advantages. Okay, so. Mechanics. Now it's very interesting. What are the mechanics for the price development? So it's not to compare the simple cryptocurrency. Yeah. We're talking about the T drone token. Yeah. T drone token. That's uh, the token we are minting. Yeah. With the minting hub T drone. Yeah. Available today in pre sale in the shop of Safir International. Yeah, and I will give you in a few minutes also the time when you can order, when you can order first, and especially also what is the condition for that? Yeah, what is the price? What you get for this price? This is amazing. And there's a early bird special, um, one of its kind. So, part of the Tupan Aircraft Company, LTDA, that's the name of the Tupan Aircraft Company. It's indirectly tokenized. That means a part of this company is tokenized as an SPV. And SPV means special purpose vehicle. Yeah, it's a company as a special purpose vehicle. Yeah, we tokenized. Yeah, and on this company, on this part of the aviation of the aircraft company, yeah, every single token is a share. Yeah, on this SPV. That means the more tokens I'm minting, the more shares. I have on this SPV. And with the increasing valuation of the company, yeah, also the share of this tokenized part of this aircraft company will increase. Yeah, so that's the difference. So it's really important to understand it's not a stock. Yeah, there are no dividends. It's not a financial product. Yeah, we are selling hardware. And with this hardware, we are minting this T drone token. Yeah, and every single T drone token we are minting is a share of the SPV, yeah, the tokenized part of this Tupan aircraft company, okay? And that's very interesting, but traditionally with companies of this type, yeah, such as Apple, Tesla, all the ones I mentioned, the stock or token value increases over proportionally with an increasing market success. Yes, yeah? so it means every shareholder who's coming in on the traditional side, yeah, so there are different channels. Yeah, there's a big portion of our um, hub sales. We are going into this company. Yeah, so increasing the value of the company. Yeah, the balance sheet of the company. Yeah, there are other channels. Yeah, um, accredited investors, shareholders, whatever. Yeah, increasing the valuation of the company. Yeah, every deal, every contract, every customer, governments, institutions, yeah, companies around the world, yeah, increasing the value, the valuation of this company. Okay, and with that, your portion, your tokens, yeah, depending on the number, yeah, on this SPV, yeah, on this 
special purpose vehicle. Okay, and this is amazing. This is a new category, even in our minting category. Yeah, so it's a different kind of token, yeah, different kind of background and a chance on an early stage, yeah, to participate indirect on a disruptive technology company. In the future, remember the gates for those who come later, the secret in business is to see where the world is going and to be there first before the world is there. And in five to 10 years, you will see a lot of changes. You will see things flying, which are not flying today in that way. Okay, so let's go first and let's see how you can participate, how you can mint this T-Drone token. Yeah, so you need a T-Drone token hub. Yeah, but there are two possibilities. If you are partner already, customer already, and you have a own Scenic Hub. Doesn't matter if this is the Hub 01. Yeah, the price uh, is uh, 1,000 or 2,000 euro. Let's say this. Yeah, the Housing Hub 01 is 1,500 euro. If you own one of those, yeah, you can simply buy the Housing Hub T Drone for 998 euro. Yeah, there are also farms with two housing hubs, with four, with eight, with 16, 32, and so on. Yeah, and also shares. Yeah, of a hub. Yeah, starting by 100 euro. Okay, that's the first possibility. If you are new, if you don't own a Seneca, don't worry. You have a fantastic price. You simply buy this T drone full hub for only 1,298. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, we produce a lot of T drone token. Yeah, on a daily basis. And there's some special. Yeah, we need to talk about this. On the other side, for those who can't afford. Yeah, a full hub or even a farm, the two, four, eight, 16 or more devices, you can also start with the share. The 100 euro is a share of a full hub. Yeah, it's a share, it's a little pool where 32 people sharing one full T drone hub. Yeah, the next pool, 16 people sharing, yeah, a one 16 share on a full hub for each 135, minting for many years to come. Yeah, so eight people sharing this pool. Yeah, one hub divided by eight. Yeah, each one can buy this share for 220. Yeah, minting for many years. Yeah, 400 euro that's a quarter share of a hub. Yeah, and 700 euro is a half hub. Okay, also amazing and amazing numbers over the years. In summary, you can produce. Yeah, and remember, every single token is a share on this SPV, tokenized part of the Tupan Aircraft Company. Okay, that's amazing. That's a huge possibility for you to come into an, an, an industry, a technology, yeah, uh, without knowing every detail, without being an expert, without being a, 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 a um, yeah, stock owner or whatever. Yeah, so you can participate. You can mean even with 100 euro, you can start. Yeah. To your Tupan tokens on the smart chain of Senec into your wallet, yeah, and after the pre-sale phase, yeah, by minting start in a few weeks, you can even flexible anytime sell your tokens on different exchanges, and you can hold them as participation on this SPV on this tokenized part of this aircraft company. Okay, so that's amazing. We have two halvings taking care that over the years. The number of Tupan token is not inflating. Yeah, so it must be limited. There must be a, a limited supply. Okay, so when the supply is not produced upfront, like many cryptocurrencies, no, the supply will be produced over the next round about ten years. Yeah, the majority over the next five, six years already. Yeah, but the halving is decreasing this minting factor, this production. Yeah, this this numbers every year, yeah, depending on the node we sold, yeah, step by step, floating, year by year, yeah, so you have your entry point, that's the sales halving, that means if I buy today, I will reserve myself, definitely straight after this, when we start, when in the back office, in the shop, these products are available, I will go in, and I will purchase, yeah, and I will have a special minting factor, yeah, which I reserve for the next few weeks, yeah, and then a few days later, this minting factor will decrease for the future customer. Yeah. And then every week we decrease by 1% for the future customer, not for us who bought today or 
tomorrow or, you know what I mean? Yeah, so decreasing minting factor, that's your entry point. If you bought, sales halving is gone for you, only for the future customer. They have an other entry point, an other starting minting factor, okay? Then after you bought, you have only the time halving. And the time halving is decreasing slowly, step by step, floating week by week, a little bit. Your minting factor every year, yeah? Floating by 50%. Over many years is the minting process. So you will produce a lot, tens of thousands of Tupan token with a full hub, with one full hub, yeah? 1,300 or 998, depending if you have the underlying hardware. Yeah, very easy. And the shares, yeah, a half node is producing the half number of this, a quarter, yeah, quarter number of this. Yeah, and now it's the question, how much is the minting factor to start with? Yeah, and now stay tuned and look at this massive incentive. Yeah, we never had this in this way before. That we are prepared, that we are launching something and we're starting with 120 minting factor in the pre-sale season for the next few weeks. Yeah, you can reserve now this weekend and up to the 31 of January. So four days, today, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, you can buy these nodes, these minting farms with the minting factor of 120%, means 20% more than the minting factor, which will start or which will be available by minting start in a few weeks. Yeah, so 20% more. Yeah, this is in, in, in numbers uh, for sure. Yeah, a five figure, yeah, so more than 10,000 token. Um, yeah, over time, what you will mint more, then you start with the 100% a few weeks. Okay, so this is a huge opportunity. And uh, yeah, the partners and customers which are familiar with other minting projects in our house, they know how it works and they, they're saying, wow, 120%, that's never been done before in this form and it is availability in this time frame. So this is huge and uh, your opportunity to get maximum yeah, tokens here in the minting process over the next few years. And then on February 1, we will decrease this yeah, to the pre-sale phase of 110, the first week of February, February, if you buy in this time frame, you reserve yourself 110% minting factor and you start by minting start with 110, yeah? If you buy one week later, second week of February, you will have 109 as an entry point, yeah? Means by minting start a few weeks later, you will start with 109, yeah? If you're buying in the third week of February, 108, you buying third week, 108 is your entry point. You reserve 108 and you will start with 108 by minting start. The customer who's coming later by minting start in a few weeks will get 100% only. It's good. 100% is perfect. Yeah. 90% is good. 80% is good. 50 is good in yeah, a number of months. Yeah. It is decreasing with the number of customers. Uh, and the time frame here in the pre-sale, very important in which week you are buying. So the next four days, you have a 120%, 20% more than the starting point, 100. Okay, so that's amazing. And now some things you need to know about the recommendation marketing. Ask your host if you don't know the affiliate program, we have amazing bonuses. Uh, fantastic affiliate benefit program and uh, the the commissionable volume yeah and and the, the the percentage which is going into this company from the sales of our hardware is 50 percent that means 50 percent of all the sales we are doing with our hardware in case of this t drone uh, notes will go into this SPV and will increase the balance sheet of the SPV yeah, so if you're producing millions, multi-millions in sales, yeah, the balance sheet will increase. Yeah, the valuation of the company will increase by sight of all the other channels they have. Yeah, all these traditional investors, shareholders, partnerships, etc. Yeah, so there's another big channel coming from us. Yeah, you know, we have almost 600,000 customers and partners worldwide. So this is good. Yeah, this is good. But the more we are selling, the more cash flow is going additionally into the company, the more uh, higher the valuation will be in the future. And with our minted tokens, remember, every token is a share from this SPV, from the tokenized part of the 
Tupan Aircraft Company. Okay, so that's amazing. Yeah, you can also make money in our affiliate system. We have amazing income streams, amazing projects uh, also already running. Yeah, so I have a choice, but this is for me a very special opportunity. Yeah, from the from the point of view with this background, with this technology disrupting, yeah, this uh, transport, this cargo. Um, aviation industry and uh, a lot of use cases, a lot of fantastic potentially customers, governments, institutions all around the world. Yeah, so the proposal of this project aims at a new world market in an autonomous uh, transport of air cargo with the implementations of Tupan aircraft, nautical industry of Tupan drones. Thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, if uh, somebody missed uh, this uh, opportunity to hear the details uh, today, yeah, we have this recorded also, and we will have in the next few days all these sessions. We have uh, different sessions in different languages today. We have split this in, in, in different sessions here to cover all and to be not too crowded in the single session. So thank you for being here. Go back to your host if you have questions. And most important, let me check the time um, around... 30 to 60 minutes, yeah? This project and the T-drone uh, shares, uh, hubs, etc., will be available in the Safia shop, yeah? Don't count uh, exactly the minutes, yeah? Within the next hour, yeah, roundabout, it will be available and you can get your hands on, you can buy your shares, your your hubs, your minting farms, whatever you are looking for. So um, the chance is yours. So stay tuned for the next episodes, for the next uh, meetings here in the house. Have a nice weekend and hope to see you soon.